And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Xenotype Elnux. That's right, it's Meme Tier Monday. <laughs> you see that Xenotype Elnux, uh, and you can, you know, oh yeah, it's Meme Tier Monday. We are going to be playing some Elnux again. So if y'all don't know about the Elnux, if you're newer to the game, they are a lot of fun. We got the Bull Elnux and the Troop of Elnux. Those are the only two Elnux in the game. The main important one here is this Troop of Elnux. Five mana, three, three, whenever you play it. For the top six cards in your deck, you summon each Elnuk and then shuffle the rest into your deck. So what we're trying to do is basically play this and kind of hope that we have Bull Elnuks and other Troop of Elnuks on top of our deck in the top six. Now we can kind of fix that a little bit. If it's the late game, if we have enough mana, we can play like a an Inspiring Chronomancer first and predict and you know maybe look for an Elnuk to be able to put on top Um you know that's that's something we can do, um, but really what what our you know so like that's that's not reliable of course, but really what we're trying to do is buff up our Elnux with Xenotype Researchers because of course Xenotype Researchers just grants three random allies in your deck plus three plus three, so if we hit Troop of Elnux then that would make Troop of Elnux a six six, and the reason why that's important is because then we have Babbling Beard that will draw a unit with five plus power, and so then Babbling Beard can draw Troop of Elnux. Um, you know, it's good, gonna take some um, RNG luck for that, but that's that's something that we can do here. Basically, Xenotype researchers make things above 5-5 five, five, and then Babbling Bjerg draw them. We have two Sejuani in here so that ba if we have Babbling Bjerg before Xenotype researchers, we don't completely miss. So we have two, two Sejuanis, so we have at least something to draw. But then otherwise, we're basically drawing whenever we get the plus three, plus three. Braum's gonna be other, our other champion because Braum's cool and stuff, and Braum will be doing things. And uh, we have a couple of cards that are good with Braum. Ruthless Predator looks really cool with Braum because you can give you can give Braum the plus two plus zero to make Braum a two five, so it can kill something. And then you can give something else vulnerable that you can challenge, you know, with something else, right? So like basically you can you can give um, like maybe you have like a Xenotype Researchers in play and you want it to challenge something and you can do that. But then you also give Braum plus two plus zero, so then Braum can kill something else. So that looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, we got a couple Ancient Hourglass for protection, which is also a really good protection spell for Xenotype Researchers, because this is a summon ability, so it will, again, grant three more random allies, plus three, plus three again, whenever it comes back from the Hourglass. And same with Babbling Beard, it will also draw a unit again, so like, you can uh, reset both of those with the Hourglass. Uh, that's kind of about it in the deck. We got a random Battle Fury just to to kill people because you know we do want to win games and that's what battle fury does it wins games we only have the sejuani as far as like overwhelm goes with the battle fury but still if we're like able to go wide with troop of elnux there should be something that's not blocked on whatever attack and whatever is not blocked then you battle fury that and deal eight damage to them all right so let's let's go ahead and try it out xenotype elnux all right we're playing in normal that's what we do here on meme tier monday we'll still play our five games but we just play them in normal instead of ranked Okay, looks like we got a removal deck with Kindred Elise. Kindred's pretty cool. Okay, that's an easy mulligan. And I think I will simply mulligan all of that. I could... The right negation, we're, we'll send it back. That could be pretty important with, like, sh whatever Shadow Isles removal spell, but don't really need that in our opener. All right, well, we got a troop. Mm. This would have been much better as the Xenotype Researchers, because it would have you know, had a, another ability. That's pretty bad luck, drawing Bull Elnuk, Bull Elnuk back to back. That's bad luck for our troop of Elnux. Okay, so Bull Elnux is going to be a much better attacker. So I guess I'll do that. Bjergs can, like, grab, you know, draw Sejuani just to, you know, get card advantage going and, and draw some cards out of our deck. So that part's also good. So I just pass with them wasting the four mana. Eight 
Alright, now I think we're definitely going to want Sejuani next turn to give the Kindred vulnerable. Really a bad trade for me. Like we're we're still even on cards because we had our battling beer draw an extra card. If I'm forgotten, then... oh. Up there in the mountains. <laughs> Big sentries. Excuse us. They're coming. Hide. All right, we can win both these combats. Thanks to Troll Chant. Big sentry. Come closer. I don't fight. Okay. I was gonna see if they played a I guess we try this. Alright, got a troop. Let's see if they, they played a ruination there, but they didn't. So five mana for two three threes. It's the more fair version of um, the Golden Sisters. Get two three threes for five instead of four three life steal and a four three elusive for six. Yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. Alright, well they're willing to just let me attack again. So I will just take the attack. There's this is where a battle fury would have been really nice. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. So basically just throwing out the sentry. Like, assuming they Ruination, we just, you know, spending that two mana to draw another card. Because it's not like, even if they, like, Ruination here and I have ten mana, I would play, like, you know, Elnuk and Bjerg and then Chronomancer. I wouldn't even play the sentry, probably. Alright, so we get to draw two. Man, none of these things are buffed up. Will no one listen? There we go. There's a buff, Elnuk. Ride in negation. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Best card. They don't be masked, secure me tail, stop to die. There we go, the buff Elnuk. They can't handle it. One no. Ooh. All right, so another control type deck. This one's probably a little better, a little bit more powerful. We shall see. Spirit fire gone, and I'll keep the others. Troll chant helps my Brom stay alive. And then, of course, we really like leading with Xenotype Researchers. So if I play Sentry, then Researchers, then I won't have Troll Chant for Braum. So maybe we just pass. That's new. You're provoking it. Job. 
Go, Braum, go. All right, got a couple of troops. Hmm. So this kind of deck does play, like, like they're about um, powder kegs and then a whole lot of one damage spells. They definitely have Vile Feast and Unspeakable Horror, a lot of those. So if I challenge the 4-1... That's what we're going to have, so we're going to have to trade Troll Chant for Vile Feast. That's just how it is, though. Okay, so Brom's halfway to leveling up. He got to survive five damage. The screams. The screams. Hmm. Is it an avalanche right now? No, I can't avalanche. Never mind. Nothing escapes my so I figure I'm probably going to go with the quicksand on the Thresh. Challenging these three threes. Okay. So if I go Avalanche... No. Alright, if we play Troop of Elnux right now, we can only go one more wide. That's the most we can do. Man, this Thresh is about to level up. I just can't stop this Thresh from leveling up. This is two, three, four, five, six. So if I cast the Quicksand, we'd keep the Mighty Poro alive, and that would not level up Thresh yet. But Thresh probably levels up in short order. That all worked out very poorly for me. I wish I just didn't attack. Yeah, that worked out really poorly. No. See, if I would have cast the Troop of Elnux last turn, we would have hit this Bull Elnux. So they're challenging the Five Forks. That's the card that could kill Gangplank. Oh, they just got a new Gangplank. So this would be four, five, six. I'm basically looking at this. See the Devastian border from here. Need to heal that Nexus. So this this will be level up Brom. Cause it's gonna be three from the Vile Feast, two from the Avalanche.
We got leveled up Rom. We also have just a one health gangplank for now. Of course, all, all they have to do is if they have any Nexus damage spell, then this gangplank levels up. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. I think that's their plan. Is I challenge, they deal damage to my Nexus. At least I thought that was the plan. Alright, we're leveling up our Sejuani. Should be two. Three. Three out of five. Sweet. Oh, I had the Elnuk on top again. <laughs> I keep drawing the Elnuk the turn before I play him, and then we just don't have any left in the deck. We're not doing a good job Elnucking. I'm definitely playing Sejuani. I'm just debating on whether to give it to the Gangplank or the Neverglade Collector. This is a this is a tough setup. I think it's the Collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King has returned. Blah blah blah. Mighty Poro got burned. That's unfortunate. I should put like the Mighty Poro down here and then let damage happen and then see if it still gets burned or not. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and that's gonna pull another gangplank. That's the best card in their deck to have. Was another Thresh, that was the best card. I mean, it didn't matter if Braum went last in the attack, right? Because, like, it was the... The Grass the Undying happens first either way. It didn't matter where I had that. Yuck. How do I win? I know I can ride a negation this. Powerful explosion. I don't know why. I kind of feel like I have to hold on to it. No, I guess we got to use it. Uh, this this is a mess. I don't... Like, they have so many cards in hand. I Yeah, they got this. That Thresh is perfect. Oh, no. Troop. You have to miss every time. Good games. Too many champions. Okay, playing against all Shirima. So we'll see how our Elnux do here. Hopefully our Elnux actually pull some other Elnux this time. Okay, I'll we'll keep it. We got our 3, 4, 5. <laughs> we kept on drawing our Elnux right before we played the Elnux. And then, you know, we didn't hit one.
We got the attack token. I'm going to play the sentry and attack. This is again like the... Uh, you know, do we save the spell mana for quicksand? Obviously, I wish I would have just saved spell mana for quicksand now. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. That didn't work out. We are drawing... So we have two quicksands in the deck. It seems like we have a million, but we only have two. I've made my avalanche better. Shurima, your emperor has returned. Could make it difficult for them to attack if they don't have anything else to play here. If it's made of sand, I can oh, I guess they do. Gonna catch the sky. Sweet. That was just the wrong thing to challenge. Let's make this die to avalanche. Let's take him. Oh dear. A glorious sacrifice. Those are a couple of good rock hoppers. A couple of good rock hoppers. The three ones match up really well with me. I, I can't punish the one health. Wait, they just passed? Alright. Let them waste their six mana. Have us even back up on mana. Uh, Xenotype Researchers buffs three three different units. Gives that gives each one plus Show three plus three. The might of our army. Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. That's a lot of things to do. Take I feel like we have like a checklist we gotta do over here. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Well it's always cold in the Freljord. We're going to quicksand this. And actually, I, I should have just harsh winds. I don't know why I was thinking I was just going to hourglass, but oh well. You know what? Let's just do this. All right, final answer. This gives me a great open attack. Because I'm sure they don't want to block with either Azir or uh, the Marshal. But if they don't, they take 12. You seek an audience? Yeah, Braum is a very good Azir counter. At long last we meet again, wise Nasus. Indeed, and time has taught me even more. I'm just waiting on this take heart. I don't know. I guess it could have take hearted. Braum. Oh, maybe I should have. Just kind of seeing what happens. I could be convinced that playing the take art on the Braum right there was exactly what I should have done. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name! Shurimus, I have risen. And we can Shurimus. That's scary. So if I put the troop there, then we know that like this troop's gonna hit another troop at least. Look, I've made a breakthrough. All right, show us what you can do. Please, 
missing reason. Reason? Reason died in the dark. So they can challenge this babbling Bjerg right now. What if I do this? Not let them challenge the babbling Bjerg. I'll still have eight mana. Kind of wish I didn't play this predict card right now. But yes, I I regret not not using the take card on the Brom. What's up, Elnux? Xenotype Elnux. Okay. So let's see. Let's tap with you first. So actually, you know what? Let's challenge Nasus. So I'm thinking like challenge Nasus so that Nasus doesn't grow. Then you know you have like this Renekton. It's really annoying. Renekton. Everyone pronounce it. Um. Good luck. Have fun. I'm gonna force Renekton and Nasus to like if they want to block these big things, they're gonna have to block with these things. They're not gonna be able to just throw a two three away. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna let them level up Sun Disk. Again, I'm I'm holding harsh winds, they're not gonna level up Sun Disk. I wanted to use harsh winds like defensively on the next turn, but you know with this. With getting like the two three threes and the seven eight, this open attack just makes a lot of sense. So my plan right now is like harsh winds and avalanche this turn, and try to kill Renekton that way. Because, yeah, this, this Renekton... Definitely scary. Oh, no. No, no, no. I think it goes to seven health. From one, goes to seven health. Are you kidding me? I swear I'm the only person that people play this Ascended Rise cards against. I've had this happen to me so often, I've never been able to pull it off. I've never been able to pull off having an Emperor's deck. But this is like my 6th or 7th opponent that's had an Emperor's deck. They get minus 3, minus 0? That's not even reasonable. Yasuo. Alright, I'm gonna keep a Braum. 
mulligan all the rest. We don't want to have like the multiple four drops if we can avoid it. Bull Elnuk is a card that you should just never keep in your opening hand with this kind of deck. You just want Bull Elnuk to be somewhere in your deck that the uh, if out there, I'll spot them. Uh, that the troop of Elnuks puts into play. You don't actually ever want Bull Elnuk in your hand. Places to go, people to be. Smoke Look out for reavers. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. I'm I don't know. I wanted to keep I'm worried of, like I wanted to kind of keep like these two mana spells what around. Do you bring me? Whispers of a rose blooming in the desert. Take off. Rude. Here's our chance. Our behavior. Speak. Full chance so good. My move. I'm putting the 3 2 in front. I mean, it is my largest thing, but just in case. Can I save it with that also? Ah. Well, that's too bad. This is scary. So 30 cards left. They still have five other Elnucks, so one out of six cards is an Elnuck. Ah, spells of old. Anything for the right coin. Let's go out for good luck. Have fun. It is easy, see? I thought you'd run. Underestimate. I dare you. They don't want their cards to take any damage. Oh, it's only enemies with four or less power. I don't really want to use this take card because this take card's a three eight Braum. Uh, left for a snack? Now who's got the upper hand? Underestimate. I dare you. Tall is a mountain and covered in ice. That's exactly 15. Now who's got the upper hand? Great hand opponent. Very good hand. GG's. Okay, so let's see how our Elnux do. See if we can get a two and three. Okay, I like the Ruthless Predator to pair with the Braum. We are currently playing some Xenotype Elnux. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. You got caught. All right, we got caught. In Amorosa's name. Out of my way. Okay, we're trading. Oh, oh dear. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. These rock hoppers have been so good against us. We are we are a really bad rock anti rock hopper deck.
very poor anti rock hopper deck. Do anything. We'll find our prey. That also doesn't do anything. Come back next time. Cut so they must have thought that. All right. So I, like they, the only reason why they did that is they must have thought that the Renekton would level up. They thought that like putting the Renekton up to eight power because it dealt four the previous turn, that putting it up to eight power was going to level up the Renekton, but uh, it doesn't stay alive, and so since it doesn't stay alive, it doesn't count towards the twelve. Okay, so we ended up getting two wins with our Xenotype Elnux. That last one was kind of weird, but um, you know that kind of stuff happens, especially a little bit more in normal. Um, but our deck went worked pretty well. You know, like it wasn't. You know, it's we're playing Elnux, right? Like we had to have a. Um, a reasonable expectation of like w how our deck's going to perform. We're not going to be, you know, going 5-0 and and uh, you know destroying the metagame or anything with our Elnux. But I think that this for an Elnux de deck, I think this did pretty well, and I was happy with it. Um, yeah, especially the first game, it looked very, it looked really good, uh, and that's the kind of matchup that you'd want to face with a deck with um, cards like Babbling Bjerg and Averroes and Sentry. And this kind of card advantage and then like troop of elnux that can put in multiple bodies is you kind of want to face the ruination decks because you have a lot of um you have a lot of card advantage in the kind of deck like like one troop of elnux can force a ruination by itself depending on what you hit and things like that and then um we ran into some other you know other powerful champions and decks and stuff and we played some good games and we weren't victorious in games two through four but we had some good close games and everything like that, and um, I was happy with the deck. I think it was a good good meme tier deck to start us off with on this meme tier Monday. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck um, and other deck ideas for meme tier Monday or um, balance patch update ideas. If you got anything like that, love to see those comments. All right, but that's it here for Xenotype Elnux. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.